all right welcome everybody it's kb here and today i'm going to show you guys how to get privacy dashboard on any android phone so this privacy dashboard thingy is a new and best feature of android 12 and uh, if you get a android 12 update good for you if you don't and you get stuck on old android phones uh, then you can use this application actually to kind of uh, use a privacy dashboard of Android 12. Uh, it works actually. So let me show you how to do it. So first of all, uh, go to Play Store and search for this application. I will put link in the description for this actually. You can go there and download this application. And uh, in the description, it just says that it will bring the privacy dashboard from android 12 to older android phones that's it that's that's all we get in the description <laughs> pretty small description but uh, it works actually so let me show you how it works and why this privacy dashboard thingy is so cool and powerful for your privacy so i'm gonna open this application just like that and like that First of all, we need to allow the permission to the application. I'm going to allow this, uh, the location first, and then we need to allow accessibility settings. All right. I'm going to go there and uh, privacy dashboard. Allow. I'm going to do that. Got it. And go back. So now, here you can see uh, location camera and microphone so these are the most crucial permissions to the application actually so as of now there is no history on any of them because we haven't used any application after installing this application so what it does is pretty cool actually <laughs> let me show you so let's say i want to use the camera i don't know which okay that's a ceiling so at the top you can see there is a camera icon in green which means this application is using our camera so it's obvious actually because i'm using the camera application itself so it's obvious that it's going to use the camera permission uh, same thing goes for the if i want to record a video and hit record you can see there is a camera and a mic icon uh, obvious but you know if there is an application that you don't trust and uh, you have a feeling that application is using uh, your mic, your camera or your location privately hidden, you know, in the background without letting you know, you know, if there is some fishy application. So this is going to be very useful. Uh, application for that to find out if that fishy application or suspicious application is actually using your location or mic or camera in the background without letting you know all right so let me go to the privacy dashboard one more time and uh, you can see there is a history whenever you use a application um, which has these uh, permissions camera mic uh, and location uh, it will store those histories in here in permission manager you can see okay permission history so here you can see which applications have used your camera have access to your camera or mic or location so yeah uh, no application will be able to escape anymore <laughs> by using uh, these crucial uh, permissions so they won't be able to use it in background if you know that you don't want that application to use any of these permission in background and you know there are many uh, bad applications on internet uh, so uh, to protect yourself from those bad applications this is I think the best application and uh, uh, since the Android 12 is coming. It's going to be built into your system. Uh, it will be a system feature which will let you see which application is using your uh, camera, mic or location permission. It's uh, damn good. And I think 
not only i think everyone who uses android uh, phones they think that this is the best feature coming to the android 12 and uh, like i said if you are stuck on old android versions you can use this application it works the same way as it works on android 12 uh, even though it's not a system application but uh, you know what to do if we can't get the android 12 update and you know android updates are really bad sometimes you get one android update let's say you bought a android phone which had a android 11 there is a chance that you will get the android 12 update but uh, otherwise you know android updates sucks because i'm not gonna go over that so let me quickly uh, a off camera use multiple applications with these permissions so we will see more history and all that all right so you can see here if uh, i'm using a uh, map application uh, you can see there is a map icon at the top that is telling us that this application is using our location so if there is an application you don't want that application to use our location yeah it's a good thing that this privacy dashboard application will tell you exactly which application is using which permission so this is great so here we are um we got the ring finally uh, there is a ring past 24 hours microphone camera and location uh, just like we see on android 12 privacy dashboard so you can see uh, we have uh, in location one apps today so it was obviously the map application by google so it's not suspicious because i want the google maps to use my location to find my location or something like that all right so it's a good thing camera uh, was used by camera application obviously and microphone was used by voice recorder and camera obviously so these are like obvious applications that you use daily and you know yourself that you want these applications to use these permissions it's good all right but uh as i said this is all for suspicious and bad applications that shouldn't use these permissions uh yeah so on my device i don't think i have any application that is bad or suspicious <laughs> but you got the point here right so this application is just amazing to protect your privacy and all that <laughs> that's it hope you enjoyed it if you get the android 12 update good for you if you don't then you can always get this application and uh, yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it i will put link in the description for this application you can go there and download it and uh, yeah monitor all the bad and good applications it's it's a good application in my opinion so that's it hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye.